My name is Jason Lowe from the Met Office Hadley Centre where I'm Head of Mitigation Advice and I'm going to talk about sea level rise. Sea level rise is an issue because it can lead to coastal flooding, it can also lead to saltwater intrusion into water tables and loss of coastal wetlands. So how much has it risen? Over the past hundred years or so, sea level has risen by approximately 20 centimetres. A large proportion of that has come from thermal expansion. This happens when we add more heat um, into the ocean and the ocean expands. Another large fraction has come from the melting of mounting glaciers and ice caps. As they warm up and melt, they release water and that flows into the ocean and raises the ocean level. There may also be a contribution from the ice sheets, but that has been quite large over the past decade or so, but averaged over the last hundred years is probably not the dominant term. But what will happen over the next hundred years? Well, what will happen over the next hundred years, to a large extent, will depend on future emissions. It will depend on whether we follow a business as usual scenario and continue to increase our emissions significantly or on whether we follow a scenario where emissions are reduced and the temperature is levelled off at a much smaller value. If we're following the business as usual scenario then projections of sea level vary but numbers reach up to of the order of 80 centimetres by 2100 and that's if we include all of those processes we've mentioned so that's if we include thermal expansion that's if we include the next highest term melting of small glaciers and that's if we include a term associated with the ice sheets that includes an acceleration of ice streams and outlet glaciers. Now these projections are uncertain there are some things that are more robust. It's a robust uh, projection that sea level is likely to rise. It's a, pro a robust projection that the future increase over the next hundred years is likely to be bigger than the increase over the last hundred years. But the precise amount is still uncertain. There is also some concern that the increase may be even greater than 80 centimetres or a metre by 2100. We can't yet rule that out, but we think it has a low probability of happening. 